Hello everyone, this is Vlada from Vlada's Place. So in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, the best time to add compost to your plants. This will depend on the area you live in. One of the reasons why we are bringing compost in December is because I am in California, which means that our weather is generally very dry and hot. With that said, the only time we get moisture and rain is during the winter time. So I'm preparing compost uh, and getting it ready and around the plants so that when it rains, the compost will continue to ripen and some of that will seep and drain into the roots. So for the rest of you who live in a different regions where you have a lot of rain, you don't have to do compost this early. Um, I'm only doing it because I'm trying to catch the rainy season and allow compost to, to ripen and to loosen up some of its nutrients and distribute it to the roots. When I was growing up, the natural fertilizer or manure was taken from the barns and it was deposited on fields in the fall. The reason for this was uh, so that weather, like frost, uh, snow and rain could help dilute manure and distribute it throughout the soil. So since the weather is different here in California and so is the soil, I kind of have to work around that and that's the reason why I'm depositing uh, compost in December. For the rest of you who live in a cold weather, I would suggest to do a similar, do it late in the fall or do it right after the last frost. Compost is relatively inexpensive and it's one of the best ways to nurture and to fertilize your plants. I bought 10 yards and uh, this is going to be enough for uh, this season. I'm thinking about adding 10 more uh, in early spring just to give even more boost to my plants because I sit on decomposed granite, uh, meaning that my soil is very, very poor. Fertilizing your plants this way, it's not only good for plants, but it's also good for environment, for birds and bugs and everything else that is happening on your property. Now that every plant and tree on our property got some food, it's time to feed my son. Uh, this is a chicken pot pie, my version of it, and uh, it turned out really good. I'm sorry I didn't record the recipe and I didn't take the measurements, but uh, it's so delicious, I'll definitely have to repeat this recipe soon. Thank you all so much for watching, for spending time with me, and if you like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing. In our next video, we're going to feature a recipe of a delicious Irish soda bread. Until the next time and next video, please take good care of yourself and those around you.